Maybe we should leave the sports to the athletes. Hey, can I see that? Thanks. If the Earth were the size of a baseball, how far away would the sun be? Farther than second base? Farther than center field? Even out of the park? And if the Earth were the size of a baseball, how big would the sun be? Looks like we're going to go into extra innings. Scale models, this time on Spaced Out. Hello, I'm Judge Reinhold and this is Judge Judy. What do you have for us here? I've made a model of our solar system using various foods. My, my, that sure is creative. It sure is. Did it take you a long time to do? It sure did. I made the whole thing last weekend, but my little brother took it out of the refrigerator, so I had to spend all night last night remaking it. Well, it sure sounds like you spent a lot of time on it. Sure did, but this is wrong. Completely inaccurate. If the sun were indeed the size of a grapefruit, there's no way that the Earth would be the size of a cheese ball. <laughs> Sorry, but you fail. When most people think of models of the solar system, they probably think of the very basic science fair project that really just shows the order of the planets there are very few that capture the sizes and vast distances of the planets. So today, we've come to this football field to show you some scale models. Um, no. No, 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 no. Wrong scale models. No. So, if the Earth were the size of a baseball, then the Moon would be about the size of this marble. But since we're talking about scale, the moon would actually be about 2.5 meters away, or 30 baseballs away. Okay, how far away do you think the sun would be? Well, it wouldn't be here. Keep going. Even further. It would be all the way out here, about 940 meters away. That's about two-thirds of a mile. So far, you could fit 12,000 Earths between the Earth and the Sun. Now, if we were to build a scale model of, say, our solar system using these measurements, we'd need a lot of space. We'd have to travel miles and miles just to show it. Unless we shrink the scale down a little bit. Now, let's go back to the football field. Let's imagine for just a second that the sun is a little smaller than this ping pong ball, about 28 millimeters in diameter. Let's also imagine that the sun isn't 6,000 degrees Celsius, or else my hand would be fried. <laughs> Let's put the sun on the zero yard line. Now, there are eight planets in our solar system. Mercury, Venus, Earth. That's the planet we live on. Thanks, Captain Obvious. So, Merc- You're welcome. Stop interrupting me. Okay, so, Mercury. Sorry for interrupting. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. We can remember it with the sentence, many violins emit music. Just study upstairs, Neil. 
And if your name is Neil, well, then it's really easy. So if the sun were the size of a ping pong ball, how far away would Mercury be? Well, you wouldn't have to walk far. It'd be right here, 1.16 meters away from the sun. Mercury is also the smallest planet. It'd be 0.1 millimeters in diameter. That's smaller than the speck of dust. Venus would be at 2.16 meters and would be about 0.24 millimeters in diameter. That's a little larger than Mercury, so two specks of dust. And just a few feet away, at just under three meters, is Earth. In reality, that's 90 million miles. In our scale, Earth is only slightly larger than Venus, so it'd be 0.26 millimeters in diameter. That's about the size of a grain of sand. And at 4.56 meters is Mars. It's slightly larger than Mercury, so it'd be 0.14 millimeters in diameter. So it may look like the first four planets are really close to our ping pong ball sun. Hey, I told you, we'll play later. Relatively speaking, the first four planets, sometimes referred to as the inner planets, are close to the sun, but they're still spread out over 142 million miles. Now, the second four planets, sometimes referred to as the outer planets, they are really out there. Jupiter is out here at 15.57 meters. It's easier to see Jupiter in our scale model because it's our largest planet. It'd be about 2.9 millimeters in diameter, or the size of a small diamond. And Saturn would be just a quick jog away at 28.67 meters and will be 2.4 millimeters big, about the size of a strawberry seed. Hey, Steve, marker. The next planet is Uranus. Uranus is way out there. So, Steve, do you mind? the other marker. Yeah, down there, go. Go get it. Uranus would be 57.45 meters from our ping pong ball sun and would be about the size of a pinhead, so one millimeter in diameter. All right, alley-oop. And Neptune would be at the other end zone, on the two-yard line, 89.9 meters away, and would be about one millimeter, so the same size as Uranus. And that's all the planets in our solar system. Now you can see why they call it space. <laughs> and that's just with a sun the size of a ping pong ball. Can you imagine how far we'd have to go to create a scale model using a beach ball? Using the football field scale model, how far do you think we'd have to go to get to the next nearest star? A mile? 15 miles? 100 miles? Even more than that. No, not quite that far, Steve. It would be 500 miles away from our football field solar system. That's a long way off. And that's just to the next nearest star. How far do you think it would be to the next nearest galaxy? I'll let you figure that one out. Now, let's put it all together. To even begin to grasp the sheer size of the solar system, scientists build scale models. The sun is so large that even if we used a ping pong ball to represent it, we'd need an entire football field just to show our solar system and the planets would only be little specks. So, if you're gonna build a scale model, you'd better make sure you have the space. 
You can make your own scale model of the solar system. Decide how big you want your sun to be. Then do the math and find the relative size of the planets and their distances. Oh. Hey, I, I think they want their field back. Right, 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 right